Bad Bart from Iron Grazing with you today talking about feed budgeting. It's been an oft requested tidbit of information that uh, so many ranchers in the States and Australia for that matter have, have asked us about. So I'm just going to rock into this pretty quickly and not, not fluff about. Uh, our goal here is to work out how much feed we've got, how much forage we've got, and ultimately how long is it going to last because that's the million dollar question a lot of the time. Right now it might be uh, autumn, fall, we've got to get through winter into the growing period of spring or summer. So to get from now until it starts growing again, how much forage have we got? Because that then allows us to work out who's going to get what. What are the cows going to get? What are the steers going to get? What are the heifers going to get? And so on. In some graze planning, that's a whole other discussion for another day. How we allocate the feed. But what we're talking about here is how do we estimate the feed? Because we can't allocate the feed until we've estimated the feed. And that's where a lot of folks fall short. Uh, and it doesn't need to be all that much rocket science. So if we uh, if we just step this out and say, right, how much feed is in the pasture? How much feed is out there in that field? Well, the answer is we don't know because we're not very good at it, we haven't been trained, we're not academics. Uh, so what can we do? Well, we could cut that and send it off to the lab and uh, we could get our pair of scissors out in the paddock on our, on our hands and knees and send it off to the lab and they could weigh it and measure it and to come back and say, look, that was uh, 776 pounds per acre. But uh, that isn't going to really help us because we can't have the lab do that for us all the time. So what we want is, is a good instinctive way of looking at a field and saying, you know what, I think there's uh, 500 pounds per acre over there or uh, 200 cows per acre over there. Um, we're not going to get too hung up on the terminology because it does vary from country to country and lingo to lingo. And what matters here is that, um, yes, we do need to think about it per acre because if you think about it, we might have a 10 acre field and we might have a thousand acre field. And if we don't do it per acre, then we're never going to get equivalence because our eye just simply can't take in the total tonnage of forage across large areas. It doesn't tend to work. So we need to think about it per acre and then we'll, then we'll uh, take it up to the foot, to the total farm. So just hang with me here. I'm, there is a method in the madness and it isn't too tricky. So we don't know what it was. We do have, an, um, we do have a, an amount of grass left in front of us now because it's been grazed and it is what it is. But we still don't know what it is. We can remember what it was, we can see what it is, and the only thing that we do know actually is who ate what in between, which is the graze. So in that graze, we, are, we actually have some demand, some consumption, some mouths, some cows, some uh, stockers, some seeds, some steers, whatever. So let's just think about that and say, righto, for argument's sake, we had 200 cows in this field for two days. We punched them in there and they, they took out what they took out over two days, 200 cows. So actually we have, <coughs> funnily enough, 200 cow days. You with me so far? Now, we might say that was a 10 acre paddock or a 10 acre field. So therefore, we have, uh, I've already muffed it up. <laughs> we have 200 times two cow days, which is 400 cow days, I should have said, divided by 10 acres, equals 40 cow days per acre. So is 40 cows, cow days per acre, good or bad? Well, it doesn't really matter. What matters is whether or not we've left behind how much we want for the next graze and whether we're going to have enough time to give that pasture recovery uh, <coughs> before we do actually graze it again. But let's just follow this through. So we've got 40 cow days per acre there that we've taken out, which is what we've just said. Okay, so we've taken out 40. We've harvested 40 cow days worth of feed, which might be a certain amount of pounds, it might be a certain number of kilos, it might be a certain um, other unit in another country, but we're not focused on that. But we took out 40, 40 units. So if we then look at that, there's, there's three parts to this equation. Looking at the field before we grazed it, looking at the field after we grazed it, 
and then doing what we're doing right now is working out how much did we actually harvest, how much was consumed, how much went down the cow's throat. So if 40 cows, 40 cow days per acre was consumed, and we're looking at that field right now and we're saying, look, what we took out is about what is left. Therefore, logically enough, we have about 40 cow days per acre left. Simple. If that's the case, then what we started with is actually 80 cow days per acre. And all of a sudden, we can go to the, to the local tavern, the local inn, the local pub, and talk about how much forage is in that pasture and say with confidence, or maybe a little bit of confidence, that, um, that there's 80 cow days per acre in that field before we grazed it. Now, hang with me, because you're not going to have the confidence the very first time you do that. But if we do that maybe half a dozen times, we look at the field, look at the field before we graze it, work out how much was consumed, or even better, look at uh, an app like My Grazing, which will actually work it out for you without doing any brain cell damage. <coughs> Although plenty of people can do that in their heads, don't worry. Um, after half a, half a dozen times of looking at the field before you grazed it, having the number that we know was consumed, and then looking at that that forage um, after it was grazed and coming up with that estimate of, well, it's about the same as what we took out, or it's less than we took out, or it's more than we took out in, in multiples. So, for example, we might look at the forage and say, look, um, that's double, there's double remaining what we took out, so therefore there must be 80. And if there's 80 left, and we started with, and we took out 40, so therefore 40 plus 80 equals 120 is what we must have started with. And we can start to uh, calibrate our, our inner lobe, our frontal lobe, and start to think in cow days. And another day we'll talk about how to convert cow days to pounds per acre if, uh, if there's interest, which I'm sure there is. But let's just take it to the next level now and just say, right, well, we know that there's uh, 40 cow days per acre there, and based on doing this in the next field, we've worked out there was 50 cow days there and 60 cow days there, and we know we all that. Well, we just... Um, very quickly, take those cow days per acre, multiply by the acres, funnily enough we have to so we can get the full area because we might have different sized fields. And of course, you know, an application like Maya grazing will do that for you. Um, we'll then end up with a total and we will have, for argument's sake, 3,000 cow days. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, 300 cow days. Well, it kind of means I've got 300 days worth of feed, sorry, 3,000 days worth of feed for one cow. But I don't have one cow. How many cows do I have? Well, I've probably got something like 200 maybe. Maybe more, maybe less. But if it was 200, 3,000 divided by 200 is going to give me 15 days worth of forage, and that's going to be a bit of a headache actually. I uh, didn't pick a very good example there. So that's automatically going to tell me that I've got too many cows and not enough forage. Might have to go and buy the farm next door, rent it for a while, or sell a few cows perhaps, or uh, hope like blazes that it starts to grow a lot sooner than I thought it was going to. But you get the principle. So we get the total, we, we, we come up with a way of estimating feed per acre. We can then look at feed across all acres, across the farm, divide by our demand, which is the total number of cows, and we've got our time that that will last and, and be available before we run out of feed. Yeah, a quick little tidbit, but really the, the key points there are all about getting our eye in, thinking about forage as it was, doing a calculation to work out how much a graze removes, and then looking at what we have left. And then after doing that for less than uh, maybe half a dozen times to a dozen times, you're going to be on the money. It, it is not that hard. And then you can be talking like a pro. Go, Joe. Best of luck to you. Hope it's good. Hooray for Hollywood. And I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next instalment.